happen. Okay, today, uh, to learn a little bit more about Facebook and how to drive revenue uh, from it. Uh, my name is uh, Matt Cohen. Uh, I'm the uh, co-founder and president at Second Street. I'm joined today by Emily Thousand, who's our affiliate success manager and uh, resident uh, social media expert. So uh, really looking forward to spending some time with you today to learn about driving revenue from Facebook. We're thrilled to be uh, part of the Schweiki webinar series and, and hope you enjoy today's session. Just very quickly, a little bit about us. Uh, at Second Street, we work with uh, over 3,000 media companies across North America. We focus in largely on online promotions. And uh, in online promotions, we really find them to be a, a very high growth area, growing much more quickly than advertising in the digital space. And they're really a great opportunity to, uh, to uh, grow your revenue, uh, to build up your, uh, your databases, uh, both social uh, and email. Uh, and ultimately to build your audience as a whole. They're really uh, extraordinary from an engagement perspective. And, and, and promotions and social are really uh, such a great match. Uh, social is really uh, the, uh, uh, putting the, uh, the gas on the fire uh, of promotions, uh, if you will. Uh, so here's our agenda for today. Uh, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about why Facebook contests. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about how to monetize Facebook contests. We're going to go through some case studies and then certainly give you um, some great takeaways uh, uh, to go take advantage of this as a whole. But this is a really, really big opportunity. And uh, to talk about that, I wanted to, to turn it over to Emily here for a moment. Thanks so much, Matt. And hello, everyone. Really happy to be here and uh, talk about the opportunity because I've experienced this firsthand. I used to sell Facebook contests in a former life. I was a part of Intercom Radio and was able to help develop a very successful program where we would run contests for clients on their Facebook pages uh, like, an, like an agency. And it was such an easy sell because these were tangible, real solutions that advertisers were looking for. And oftentimes, you know, they wanted to be in social media but really weren't sure where to begin or what to do. So we were able to come in, provide a really turnkey solution for them that ended up generating over a million dollars in just the five markets that I worked with. So I'm going to share, you know, a couple case studies during my time at, at Entercom Radio, as well as from a variety of different media partners and what they've been able to do when it comes to really generating significant revenue and providing measurable solutions from Facebook for your advertisers. So there are many reasons why Facebook contests matter and why they work. So let's look at a few of those. Um, Facebook recently changed its terms of service, which you may or may not be aware of, where they're no longer requiring that you use an app to power promotions on Facebook. So that means that now there are two kinds of promotions. One would be where you could run it on your timeline or your wall, um, and there are definitely advantages to those types of promotions. They're really great at driving engagement, but there are still a lot of benefits from running a contest through an app, and we're really going to look at a lot of those benefits today, such as being able to like gate your contest and drive new fans, acquire email addresses, and really drilling down um, into that data and figuring out who your qualified leads are from contest entrance, as well as still increasing your engagement. These are just a few of the reasons why running a contest via a, a third-party app still makes a lot of sense. So just so everyone's on the same page in terms of how a contest app works, where it's located, what some of those benefits really are, uh, when you're on a Facebook page, the app is located right underneath your cover photo. So this app integrates fully with your page. And you can run contests on your page as well as on your advertisers' pages. And here's an example of the light gate. So this is a benefit that you can get from an app that you cannot get from writing, uh, running a contest on your wall. Your wall's not light gated. But here, people are presented with a light gate where they have to click the like button in order to even see the contest. So you're able to really generate those fan numbers. Once they click the like button, they're able to see the entry form. And this is where some really cool things can start happening. You're able to, for instance, embed more than one like box. So if you want to get likes for yourself as well as for an advertiser, or if you have multiple sponsors, you can grow likes for multiple folks within one contest. You're also able to grow your email database 
by adding the simple opt-in question and collecting their data to be able to be used long after the contest is over. I also wanted to share this really cool example from uh, Chatelaine, a magazine in Canada, one of our partners. And they leverage contests as another way to help drive uh, subscriptions as well. So here on a, on a sweepstakes that they were running on their Facebook page, they also have a special offer. Um, if they sign up, they can get a deal on a magazine subscription, which I think is really smart. So what's the deal with Facebook contests? Why do they work? First and foremost, they're the number one way to grow your likes. This graph that I'm showing you here is from an advertiser contest that was done uh, in New Orleans with Entercom Radio. And these graphs are what we see over and over and over again. You see the organic growth, the flat line, and then you see the big boost where media gets involved, when your magazine property gets involved. That's when you really see the dramatic boost in likes. And these are things that you just can't reproduce organically. It's also so effective at growing your database. You know, already showed that example of what you can do when you're adding that email opt-in question. Here's just an example of one advertiser. Not only did they add that email opt-in question to their contest, they added a special offer, a buy one, get one free coupon, which really incentivized folks to want to opt in. So almost everyone who entered ended up joining their database, which is true ROI for that advertiser and something that they'll be able to use long after the contest is over. Uh, contests are also fantastic at growing your engagement. Everybody's talking about engagement. How do I get engaged with my fans? Well, one of the features of using a contest app is leveraging the power of referral features. So that is inspiring folks to share the contest with their friends in order to get more entries. So talk about propelling your contest in the viral space where things go viral on Facebook. You can tap into this whole new potential universe, those friends of fans. Uh, here's another graph from that uh, Reginelli's Pizzeria example where we looked at what it was able to do for their likes. It also drove tremendous increases in their engagement during the promotion and long after the promotion had ended. Again, these are the types of uh, results that we see over and over again. And why, one reason why engagement matters so much is this uh, people talking about this number. If it's not something that you're familiar with, it's located uh, right under your cover photo, right to the right of your Facebook likes. And that lets you know how many people are currently engaging with you, so it's a good measure on the health of your page. If you have a low talking about this number, you don't have a lot of engagement, which means that no one is seeing your posts in the news feed. The news feed is where people spend a vast majority of their time, and without engagement, you're not going to be visible. The reason is, is this algorithm called EdgeRank. It looks scary, it looks confusing, but the takeaway is, is that this is an algorithm that's choosing what to display in a fan's newsfeed and what not to. Facebook wants all of its users to have a good experience and to keep coming back, so it wants to show them what matters to them. The first factor that it looks at is the relationship that you have with a page, affinity, how strong that relationship is. And contests are a fantastic way at establishing and maintaining affinity and strengthening those connections that you have with fans. You know, Emily, what I really love about this opportunity is that it's really, from what I hear, exactly what advertisers are looking for. Um, it's hard to think of uh, a better thing that you could propose to kind of launch a program for an advertiser um, than a Facebook contest. Uh, it gives them both the interactivity of a promotion uh, along with um, the ability to drive uh, actual leads. It's a really, really powerful opportunity. I think you hit it on the head exactly, Matt. This is stuff that advertisers want, that they're asking for, and that they can truly see results from. And the best part is that a lot of them need your help. They don't really know where to begin. They might not have the resources to execute a contest or how that even works or the best way to go about it. There's such a big opportunity in terms of how many business Facebook pages are out there today. I just updated this a few weeks ago from the Wall Street Journal, an article that I'd read. 18 million business Facebook pages. 
And their primary goal in being on Facebook and using social media is to get new customers and get new leads. And a Facebook contest, you know, based on a lot of the things that we just talked about, is such a great way at attracting new customers, capturing that data via that entry form to get those new leads and really start achieving your marketing goals. Yeah, absolutely, Emily. So, uh, so now that we understand that this is a really big opportunity, let's talk about a couple of models that we can pursue to, to capitalize on it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we really see two different models in terms of Facebook contests. Uh, one is, a, uh, is one that runs on your page, or on your magazine page, uh, Facebook page. Um, it can be co-branded uh, with, uh, with your sponsor. Sponsor might provide a, a, a prize. It could be dual, lo dual light gated. Um, um, and you can create opt-ins for both people. But the bottom line, it's about, it's about you and your advertiser. Um, but the other model, and the model that Emily was referencing earlier, is more of a, an agency model where it's really about um, providing uh, the infrastructure to build a Facebook contest for your advertiser. And it's really there to achieve their objectives and to drive, uh, you can get involved in driving the promotion that's going to get people to their site. Uh, but, uh, but it's really all about them. You're really servicing more as an agency and a promotion partner. But at the center of that contest, it's private labeled for the advertiser. Yeah, and you know, I've got this great case study from uh, UT San Diego, great example of a sponsored contest that was run on Facebook. And basically, they wanted to marry the deals that you can get, the savings that you can get at this outlet mall with the savings that you can get with their deals program. So they created this uh, co-branded contest where they could promote both of those things, attract an audience, um, get email opt-ins for both, get new fans. Clearly, they had tons of entries. And the really exciting part was the fact that this was um, this helped secure new business. This was a new advertiser. And this promotion was a part of a $20,000 buy in brand new revenue. And part of the reasons that they were able to do that or that you are able to sell a sponsored contest is that not only do you get all of that promotion, you get all of that exposure. Um, you're getting all of that advertising and buzz and awareness generated. You also have the ability to grow an email database for an advertiser, to grow a Facebook database, Facebook likes for an advertiser, and that has tremendous value. So UT San Diego, amongst many of our other partners, are really selling that to their advertisers and putting a price tag on those elements, not just giving those things away because they have tremendous value. So yeah, absolutely, Emily. So you know, while we talk about that sponsored model, and it makes a lot of sense, and it's one that we uh, understand uh, well as magazines, uh, as a traditional way to sell a promotion, there is this emerging category that we keep talking about, uh, advertiser contests, agency contests, uh, that has a lot of potential and are worth a hard look. Uh, I know you've looked uh, worked really closely with Kitty Wilson uh, from Quad City Times, uh, a newspaper. Uh, in Iowa, Emily, and uh, I thought maybe you'd share a little bit of the perspective of, of their success. Absolutely. So I love sharing what the Quad City Times is doing because if they can make money off of digital, if they can make money off of Facebook, in Davenport, Iowa, you can make money off of Facebook. And I'm not knocking Iowa. That's where my husband's from, so I've got a lot of love. But they're doing some really, really exciting things. Uh, they use two different approaches for their advertiser contests. One is this concept of shared promotions, where it's four quarterly themed promotions, and multiple advertisers kind of share the advertising and thus have a lower price point to be involved in that promotion. They also do exclusive advertiser contests, um, which is just one advertiser being featured. So I'll share some of the su successes that they've had uh, for both of those. First, starting with this exclusive contest model. So from this one contest for Red Lantern, which was a new Chinese restaurant that was opening, brand new business, they really helped them launch their entire business, created a marketing plan for them. Again, really focused on solution selling, uh, which is really exciting. But they got $4,000 from this advertiser to run one Facebook contest for them. In terms of what they included, 
Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. No, I was just going to ask you when you when you look at that promotion from uh, uh, from uh, Quad Cities there, you know what what do you think are the drivers that are making that so successful? When you say four thousand dollars, you know what what is it about it that allows them to charge more uh, for this kind of uh, for kind of a contest? That is a great question. So they use a lot of the standard. Um, assets that you would see in a typical package. They've got some print integrated. They put a, a price tag on the contest setup, the fact that they get the light gate, the fact that they're getting this opt-in. But the real key here, the thing that kind of sets it apart, is this 80,000 member database, this email database that they have. Not only do you get one email to that database, you get two to really, really power that promotion. Now, they've been working on this for the last two to three years to run sweepstakes, run contests for their paper to build up that database, but now it's just paying dividends over and over and over again. They send uh, this promotional email out every Tuesday, totally dedicated to the advertiser if it's an exclusive promotion. And what they're seeing is 70 to 80 of uh, 70 to 80 percent of their contest entries are coming from the moment they send this email. I saw this uh, when I was at Entercom. I've seen this at other media properties as well, very consistently, that email can be the single most effective asset that you have to power online promotions. So you might not have an 80,000 member database, that's okay. You gotta start small, you gotta start somewhere, but it's something that you should definitely be focusing on at your magazine, a really robust email database that can help power promotions. Another reason why email uh, matters so much, and I love to share this, I just read about this in, in eMarketer, and the headline of the story was all about what people are doing digitally every day, and the takeaway was that 76% of folks are checking tw Twitter and Facebook once a day, which is great, but I thought the takeaway was that 91% of adults are checking email once per day. So despite the emergence of social media and how much it still matters, email is still central to our digital lives on a daily basis. So email still matters tremendously. And in terms of what they were able to do uh, for that advertiser, over 600 new fans, which was an 800% growth uh, for, for this restaurant, which they were thrilled about. They got 390 new emails, so now they'll be able to talk about their special events, coupons, really stay engaged with these fans year-round. And just a, a huge success uh, overall. And they're going to continue to do more contests for that advertiser moving forward. But now I'd love to share with you a little bit more about these shared advertiser promotions. So you can see they're able to generate a lot more revenue because they're able to get more advertisers uh, involved. So the price point was about $17.50 per advertiser, which really allowed them to go to different categories that maybe that hadn't advertised with them previously, just allowed them to reach out to different, different advertisers. Print works really well in terms of the, the drivers for these promotions for awareness and really letting people know about the promotion, but in terms of driving those submissions, again, email they found as well as integrating some Facebook ads and Facebook promoted posts really seem to take this shared advertiser promotion to the next level. And now they're going to be integrating uh, Facebook ads into their contest moving forward. Not a huge sum of money, just uh, you know maybe $100, $200 depending on, on the promotion, but uh, some supplemental Facebook ads have been shown to give a nice boost. Uh, and you'll see the shared contest package is uh, very similar to the exclusive advertiser package, except you know everyone's sharing that email rather than it being a dedicated email, and they only had one rather than two. The results were still uh, very good for these advertisers. They were thrilled with it. Again, this is a smaller market, small businesses. Um, so to scale that, these results were very, very good for them. On average, these advertisers got to about 250 fans, as high as uh, 300, 350. On average, between all the advertisers, they got about 150 new email addresses, which again, worked really, really well. All right, Emily, I love this stuff. Um, really exciting opportunities here, and uh, I know that you've got a kind of an endless 
a uh, number of examples for different media types and different size uh, publications and other uh, markets, depending on who, on who you're targeting. Uh, one source for all this is if you go to the secondstreetlab.com. Uh, That's our promotions lab, and you can get a lot of information uh, there as a whole uh, on different uh, size publications, large and small as a whole. I, I know you've got uh, some additional uh, opportunities here that you want to share, some examples of how other people are finding success. Um, and like I said earlier, that, that digital agency model, people define it in different ways, uh, but there's a real opportunity for magazines there. Absolutely. So um, I'd mentioned previously that I worked at Entercom in the past. So this is a campaign uh, that I worked on during that time, and it was a sweepstakes for a local bank. And the results here are tremendous. I'm so excited to care, uh, share this with you. The business objectives for this advertiser were that they needed to sell gift cards. They had a goal of selling 500 gift cards right before the holidays, and their marketing objective was to double their Facebook likes. And the results were that they blew those out of the water. Not only did they double their Facebook likes, they more than doubled their gift card sales goal. So I'll walk you through how that kind of worked. You know, the media mix, every different media type has their drivers and a variety of different assets that they can use. So it's all about what your, finding what your right mix is and what really works for you. I'm going to have a guess that email is going to be one of those drivers regardless of what your media type is. But for this radio property, using over the air, using their internet radio, using their mobile app, display ads, that's what really worked for them. And you'll see a lot of that stuff included in this package. On average, they're selling these contests. Again, this is a large, large market. This is New Orleans. They're selling these contests on average for 5,000. They were able to get 18 grand for this contest because it ran for four weeks. So by extending it out further um, and adding in a couple more layers and elements, they were able to boost up that price. Results were tremendous. Uh, tons of new fans. Again, this doubled their likes huge increase in engagement in people talking about this. And remember, that's going to affect the health of their page long after the contest is over. Now they're going to be seen in the news feed and their uh, marketing objectives can be met because people are actually going to see their messages. Uh, over 500 new emails, they have an email program called Common Sense. So this was really important to them to be able to get a database from this and they were able to do that. And then here's where we start talking about some, some tremendous ROI. So their goal was to sell 500 gift cards. And you might be wondering, well, how do you sell gift cards thanks to a sweepstakes? In all the uh, supporting advertising, telling people to go and enter this contest in the emails and the display ads and the spots that you heard on the air, said, by the way, holidays are coming up. We've got gift cards for sale. Come into the bank and get your holiday shopping done they actually ran out of gift cards. They were floored. They had to go buy more. They ended up selling over 1000 at about $130 a price point per card, which blew their original business objectives out of the water. It equaled about $100,000 in new revenue compared to the prior year in gift card sales. And they all thank this to the power of a Facebook sweepstakes, which is amazing. So why sell a Facebook contest? Why do your advertisers care? We've really talked about a lot of different reasons, but just to kind of bring it back, it's the best way to grow your likes. It's the best way to get those email addresses and capture data. Um, you can also leverage the power of referral features, increasing those shares, helping your contest go viral. And you will see increased engagement that people talking about this metric. Um, and you can establish affinity with these fans by running a contest. And speaking of qualified leads, I love sharing this example. This is another contest from the Quad City Times that they ran uh, for an auto dealer. They got $4,000 for this exclusive advertiser contest. But what's really cool here and what could work for any media type or any advertiser is the fact that they added a couple simple survey questions. What vehicle are you currently driving? When are you looking to buy a new vehicle? Next month, next three months, next six months, and do you want to be contacted by us? The results were amazing. They had uh, 12 people say that they were looking to buy next month. They had about 30 people saying they were looking for the next three months. 
and then 13 people saying in the next six months, and all of them said, yes, I'd like to be contacted by Reynolds Ford. So talk about hot leads rather than just getting an email list, which is great. You're getting an email list plus intent to purchase from prospective customers, which is just an advertiser's dream. The other thing that you can do uh, by running a contest and capturing that data is you can identify hot zip codes for your advertiser and maybe they need to be focusing on an area that they're not really focusing on right now. These are just some of the things that you can provide. It's more than just a contest. Uh, last, you can embed thank you offers, another way to provide value, another way to incentivize people to participate in the promotion on that thank you page where they're prompted to share it with their friends to get more entries. You can also have a thank you offer. Here's an example from a, from a movie theater where they gave everyone $3 off their ticket. And it's just another way to drive participation and really drive the retail. So yeah, Emily, I think that there's some big takeaways here for, um, for anybody uh, listening in today, uh, whether you're a local magazine, a national magazine, a niche magazine, there's a lot to learn from what's going on out there as a whole. Um, to me, um, you know, you've got to first and foremost, you've got to understand the opportunity. And I think as all the case studies we've been sharing today demonstrate, contests have amazing benefits to your advertisers. They grow your likes, they grow your email database, they increase your engagement. So, so many opportunities here. Um, so, a lot of big potential. And, um, and you've got to ask the question is, what is your primary goal in using social media? Um, the number one goal is acquiring engaging new customers, uh, 36%. Um, Facebook contests are the best way to get new fans. Facebook contests are definitely the best way to get new leads. And at the end of the day, that's such a huge, huge opportunity. That's what everybody's looking for overall. Um, you got to sell the benefits. In terms of the pitch, you guys just got to sell those benefits as a whole. Um, you've got to love the new likes. Um, that's, of course, a big opportunity. Um, but you got to also think beyond the like. These contests provide so much more than that. There's the engagement, there's the emails, there's the leads. Um, when you sell this, you want to be consultative. Uh, understand what your advertisers' goals are and their objectives are first. Understand edge rank that I'm going to talk about so you can consult clients in which areas um, they are in dire need of your help on. It becomes an opportunity to explain it to them. There's a lot of questions around that. You can use survey questions. You can use email opt-ins for offers. You can use the thank you coupons I'm going to spoke about. There's so many tools that you can bring to bear for your advertisers as a whole. So that really puts you in a position to package a great promotion. You know, what's the prize? What's going to inspire folks? Uh, how are you going to promote it? Um, none of these are big questions, but they're questions that you can consultively help with as a whole. And you want to think about digital. Um, you want to think about how digital can work to support the traditional if you build that into the package. Um, so you want to make sure you place the right number of impressions digitally in places where people can convert easily to enter and win the contest. Uh, remember the example that Emily shared with you from the Quad City Times. Right here, 517 total submissions, 355 came from the day the email was sent out. Email is still really king when it comes to promotions. And uh, in this case, 70% of the contest entries came from that email. You want, you've got to optimize for mobile. We're all seeing the explosion of traffic coming to uh, mobile. 50% uh, and growing are on mobile. So this is a non-negotiable point. You've got to offer these contests in a mobile-friendly environment. Um, and uh, so there's, there's so much more to think about when it comes to Facebook. Um, if you go to Second Street Lab that I mentioned earlier, slash Facebook sales, um, there's a lot of other great content from Emily and the rest of the folks at, uh, at Second Street. Uh, Street. Um, if you have questions, we'd be delighted to ask you as a whole. You know, it doesn't just stop with Facebook at, uh, at Second Street Lab. Um, there's everything you could imagine around promotions, whether it be deals, email marketing, social media. Uh, all of this is really focused on media companies as a whole. So, you know, I hope you'll take some time to visit the lab. Um, it's really our hub resource for everything promotions. It's designed specifically for you. So you'll find great case studies, promotion ideas, best practices, 
um, tips and really, really a ton more. So, um, so Emily, I just want to thank you for joining me uh, for this session today. And uh, to those of you out there, I hope you found it engaging. Uh, clearly something we're really passionate about at Second Street. Uh, you've got our contact information here. And please don't hesitate to reach out by, uh, by email uh, or Twitter. Excellent. Yeah, my pleasure being here and just want to echo what, what Matt had mentioned. If you have any questions, want to reach out, feel free to follow us on Twitter or send us an email. Happy to speak about uh, all of this opportunity further. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everybody, guys. for joining us.